And from there, go ahead and use edge selection, the little line next to the little surface, and move each of the edges around so they're kind of angled, so they kind of sit right underneath the bottom of his pant leg. We're going to kind of angle his shoe, kind of like if you're wearing a normal pair of shoes. Reference your picture, it does cut look, looks a little bit, little bit like you know, a curved, kind of slanted, uh, basically like smushed cylinder in this case. And we'll just you know, do a little bit of manipulation, get a nice little curve off the front and around, and around the sides. It's going to take a little bit of time, so do be patient and just work at it. You'll, you'll see the results as they come along. When you're done, go ahead and color it black and then rename it shoes. Or right shoe, left shoe if you prefer to do it that way. Do, do your uh, symmetry to the opposite side using the, using the symmetry command. Clicking the ZX plane or copy it over. To get, his out, to get Max outsold on his shoes, go ahead and copy, copy one of your shoes, paste it, and go ahead and rename it your outsole. Make sure it's selected, translate it downward, so it says un, just underneath your, uh, your main, your, the top, top part of his shoes. Use your affinity command, scale it out a little bit, and then use a little bit of manipulation to keep it, to make it look a bit proportional to the rest of his shoes. Reference your picture, and do a little bit of adjusting. So it doesn't look too much like he's wearing a pair of sandals, but it doesn't look like he's wearing a pair of you know ice skates or it looks like he has hooves. To get the little outside, the inner, inner stripe, modify the, 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 inner, the inside edges so that you actually should see a little small, small little stripe of white popping through, popping through the black part of the shoes. This may take, may, may take a little bit, little bit of time to mess with, so reference your picture, modif move your, your edges around, and you should get something pretty similar to how his, how his shoes look. Also, be sure to rename your, your salt and use your, and use the symmetry command to duplicate to the opposite side. Okay. Okay. Next thing we're gonna do is click on pants, and then click on point selection, and that way we can go ahead and pull down those individual points on the bottom of his uh, the cuff of his pant to where it drapes over his shoe. Now we only need to do it on one side because once we exit out of this, it will reflect that um, on his other pant leg as well. Next, the symmetry command. So, all right. So we need to round off the bottom of Max shoes. What we're going to do is at the at the top bar. Click on edge fillet, it'll pull up the little edge fillet menu, select the bottom edge of, of, Mac, of Max outsole, and then type in a really small radius, probably like maybe 0.03, maybe 0.04 inches, kind of depends on what your units are. Do that, click preview, and you'll see a quick preview of his, of his outsole being, cur being uh, rounded off. Do the same thing for the other side.
Okay, next step is let me create his uh, undershirt, which is probably some sort of thermal. But uh, we'll do this by using the uh, the torus command. So you can just go ahead and um, translate to, to whichever side you'd like to work on first, with the left to right. Then use the cut by plane command. You'll, you'll, we'll need to do this at least only once so that we cut the, uh, the torus in half so that we have one side for our sleeve. So pick the side you want to use, it'll turn gray, the, it'll turn gray signifying which side you're actually going to keep. Click the little check mark to confirm and we'll have basically a half donut. I, I, I actually cut it twice on this one just so just for my own purposes. You already need to do this once. So then take take the tor take the chopped up torus, manipulate it by clicking the little cage icon and using translation and move it close to whichever sleeve you want to work with. From there, double click from there use the uh, uh, manipulation tool so that you can actually move the top of his uh, top of the cut open torus so that's inside his uh, inside his t-shirt sleeve and the bottom so that it stays relatively proportional. Additionally, you may want to use the affinity command on the uh, at the midsection so that it act so that, so that your uh, your uh, elbow doesn't actually extend large, extend outside of the uh, width of uh, Max T-shirt. And when you're done, go ahead, name it undershirt sleeve, color it white in the graphic tab, and then once again we'll use the symmetry command to put it on over to the opposite side. Click on click on the uh, undershirt sleeve, click on symmetry, and then click the ZX plane to copy across to the opposite side. All right. Next, we're gonna work on his hair. Use the extrude command, and uh, and this time, click on the little bottom lip that we created when we first punched out the little pop chunks of hair from his head. And do the same thing again to those same locations where you extruded the first time. Should look something like this. A little, a little helmet with a little lower half of Max face. Confirm that. And don't make any extra tufts. So you don't want to make anything a little too complicated. And you'll have basically a simple outside shape for Max hair. After we extrude his hair down um, lower on his face, we'll go ahead and create another cylinder. And then we'll manipulate it, um, just that front face, to where it looks like a lock of one of his uh, of hair that goes over his forehead. So we'll keep doing that until it gets a pretty good shape and then we'll go ahead and uh, deselect it, select the whole shape and just use translation command and push that down um, or f into his face to where it sticks out a little bit and looks like one of those locks of hair. From there you may make some small adjustments so that it kind of sits where uh, is the lock set on, on his face. Reference your picture. This will be very helpful. And when you've kind of gotten into a nice spot, use the attraction command. Let's kind of like a little point with a little curve in it. And what that will do is it will actually round off all those sharp edges to make a very kind of rounded off figure so that it kind of blends in a little bit with the curvature of his head. Go ahead. Also, rename this uh, the inner lock or inner tuft of hair, whatever you may use for this. And then go ahead and copy that, paste it, and then slide it over. So slide it further out, so that you have the second lock of hair that kind of drip, drifts out, uh, drifts out from the center. And kind of adjust that to a certain location. You may, if you want to adjust, you know how it looks, you can also do that as well. Then use the symmetry command and do, do this twice for the inside lock and the outer lock as well. You'll have, so you'll have a, a similar looking uh, bit of hair for, the, for uh, Max face.